Hey everyone, it is Keisha here on Keisha Knows, and today's video is all about 10 ways to refresh for the new year. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. It will not cost you a thing, and you will be a part of the Frugal Fam, which is what I call the subscribers here because we all like to save a little money. Um, and also, make sure you thumbs up the video because it helps other people to see the video and to grow the channel. First thing I want to talk about is the body. A lot of us have resolutions to that involve taking care of our body. So I want to mention that. And one of the most popular ones, of course, is to cut back on sugar. Um, this is a tough one, y'all. I have a sweet tooth, so this is definitely a tough one. But I want to share with you a few ways that may help you with this. It's not so much that sugar is bad for you. It is processed sugar. So really being mindful of the amount of sugar that you are eating, you know, candy bars and sodas. So of course you can drink water. Water is great. I know there are people who are not water people who are not into just drinking plain water. I know there are people like this because my mother is one of these people. <laughs> there are alternatives to water. Of course, there are also the carbonated options out there um, that'll help add a little bit of pizzazz to your water. <laughs> so, um, and also we um, drink Zevia a lot. And Zevia is, I don't know if you would call it a carbonated water, but it's basically a carbonated beverage that they use stevia to sweeten. So that's what we drink. We enjoy it. Um, but there are other alternatives out there like bubbly and, and other things like that. Also, when it comes to getting healthy and taking care of your body, you can also implement things like walking. You don't have to go straight head first into um, some really, really um, strict, high performance fitness routine. You can just start by walking. Um, you can, of course, walk your neighborhood. You can go to parks to walk. Um, but if those aren't options for you and maybe you feel like you need to go somewhere else that's open 24 seven, you can go to a gym. I personally work out at the Planet Fitness and it's an affordable option for the gym. Also, you should definitely look into your company's um, fitness or health plan that they have. Some companies have these health perks, um, so they may be able to pay for, if not all, a very significant chunk of your gym memberships. Journaling. Journaling is a way to take care of the mind, which is a part of the body as well. Um, this is a good way to just release anything that is heavy on your soul, on your spirit at the end of the day, at the end of the work week. Um, it can help you to set goals. It can help you to be mindful of your thoughts. Something that I used to do is I would, if I had a lot on my mind at the end of the day, I would pull out my journal and just put it all on those pages as much as possible, just write, write, write. And then that would help me to go to sleep because it was no longer on my mind. So um, that's something that you can think about doing. Dollar Tree, Five Below, Walmart, Target, they all have good options, good affordable options for journals. You don't have to have anything fancy. They do have fancy versions out there that you can find online. But like I said, I want you to think about affordable options. I don't want you to be discouraged to journal just because you want a fancy journal. Like just start, just grab you a journal, grab a notebook, Declare it your journal and grab you some pens from Dollar Tree or Walmart and get started. I used to have this app and it was just a way to kind of, um, it would walk you through these different steps of kind of decompressing from the day. Um, and it would also help you with meditation. Like it would play um, some soothing music and have like this little, you know, five minute count or whatever, breathing exercises to help calm you, stuff like that. Um, so it would just help you relax, help you to relieve any stress and tension. Use your PTO or vacation time. I cannot stress this enough because your body needs the rest, okay? Don't keep just going and going and going and not using your vacation time. Like it is so important. I know people who just collect all of this PTO time and they don't think about using it to actually rest. Um, that's what your body needs. I would definitely encourage you to be mindful of your PTO and your vacation time. Use it wisely. You don't always have to go somewhere on a trip. You can just be at home and relax. 
Okay, let's talk about home real quick. I want to encourage you to um, do something that is always just a pain in the butt to do, but we need to do it and that is to organize, especially after the holidays, going into the new year. And um, we wanna freshen up our spaces. I know I freshened up a few spaces in my home during my little holiday break at home. Um, so I wanna encourage you to do this. Don't be overwhelmed by it. Um, definitely think about you know, doing it in small spurts, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, once a week, just go through and declutter spaces in your home. I wanna to speak to the homeowners really quickly. You don't have to be a homeowner. You can also be renting a house. Um, just consider cleaning up the outside of the home. You wanna clean out the flower beds, kind of get them prepped for the spring because it'll be here before you know it. Also consider power washing your home, the outside of your home, power washing the driveway, things like that to kind of clean it up a little bit. If you have any dead branches hanging over your tree, hanging over your fence, hanging over your garage or a shed, consider getting those dead branches removed because once they fall, they can really be a problem and they may even hurt someone. So just consider getting those removed. If you can afford to remove a dead tree or something from your home, definitely consider that as well. That is a costly thing to do, but if you can afford it, I would encourage you to do it. And lastly, I want to talk about finances. Now, I am not a financial advisor in any way. I am just a regular woman trying to make it in this world. So please take what I tell you with a grain of salt, okay? So anyway, um, I just want to make, encourage you to look back on your finances last year and kind of do an audit of your spending. See where you made mistakes at, miscalculations at, and take note of that. That's something that my husband and I are going to be doing um, because we're not perfect and we made some mistakes in 2023, honey. Best believe we did, okay? <laughs> um, so just take note of those things. Where did you mess up? What was the reason and how can you prevent that in 2024? There are budgeting apps online that you can use because sometimes it is hard to sit down and just write out a budget. Um, believe me though, once you get used to doing that, it gets easier. But for some people, they don't want to write it down or anything like that. So there are budgeting apps that are available. You can also create your own Excel spreadsheet. That's what I did. I found a template online. Um, that worked perfect for us. And so that's what I started doing is just using an Excel spreadsheet and you can fill it up with as many tabs as you need to from month to month, bi-weekly, whatever. You can customize it to your needs. Um, but I would encourage you to do something like that just to have something to reflect on and to know how much money you have in your account. Allot your money, make it work for you, know what's going to bills, what's going to groceries, what's going to gasoline, all of those things. Um, being mindful of what you got going on financially. Refresh your resume. Um, yes, going into 2024 is something you need to consider. If you are thinking that you are underpaid or you are not happy at your job or you don't have enough benefits or whatever, take the time to refresh your resume. And don't forget to refresh your cover letter because a lot of companies are usually going to ask you for a cover letter when you are applying. Also consider creating a LinkedIn profile. Um, it's pretty easy and simple to do. Um, you don't have to get on LinkedIn, I'm just saying, you know, if you're needing a fresh start and you really wanna put your name out there, um, that's a good place to do it. There are constantly recruiters and people on there scrolling, trying to find um, new applicants for different companies. A podcast that I listen to a lot is the Brown Ambition Podcast. It's a podcast dedicated to women um, to encourage them to be smart about their spending, smart about their investing, and just planning for their lives. Um, and they actually had brought up LinkedIn and had several people from LinkedIn on the podcast to talk about the benefits of it. So um, I would encourage you to check out that podcast if you are just, you know, wanting to know a little bit more about finance and things like that and to grow your knowledge on finance. Um, but when it comes to resumes and working on your cover letters, it can be very difficult to um, find the right wording. So things like ChatGPT and also thesaurus.com can help you to find the right wording. Yes, honey, I said thesaurus.com. 
Also with ChatGPT, I wouldn't encourage you to have ChatGPT write your entire cover letter, but they can give you ideas on how to word things. So if you need a sentence that best describes your experience getting your education in college and the classes that you took and kind of summarize that, ChatGPT can give you options there. So I definitely want to encourage you to not be overwhelmed with the process of um, working on your resume or your cover letter. There are things out there to make things a lot easier for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Let me know which tip you are taking into 2024. Let me know whatever your resolution is for 2024, um, because it might actually be something that is helpful to someone else reading the comments. So please comment below. Let us know what you are doing. Um, and I just hope that everyone has a good year. Again, if you are not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Also make sure you thumbs up the video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.